Welcome. Today I'll be working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas doing a fun technique with acrylic paint and rubbing alcohol. If you're interested in my digital download files, you can click on the PayHip link below. So let's get started. I begin by mixing up a light gray with my white and my dark gray and then applying it to my board with my chip brush. And I'm going to tap all over with the side of my brush to get rid of my brush strokes. I've got some purple tissue paper, water, my medium round brush, toothpick, my fingernail, <laughs> and I'm going to just put a little bit of water around the edge of my petal mask, and then I'm going to tear. I want these to look pretty rough, but I also want them to look a little bit uniform. Does that make sense? I'm going to tear a bunch of these petals so that I can have several to choose from also because it's a really fun technique but i will probably only use about 10 of them now i'm going to paint a w on each of my petals and then gently tear out the v's to finish them off i find the center of my canvas and then use my center mask and a sharpie to mark it and then I'm going to figure out which petals I want to use and how many. I'm going to decoupage my petals on with some watered down Mod Podge. When I've got my first four on, I will apply a top coat with the side of my brush, just gently tapping it on and making sure I've got a nice even layer with no brush strokes. And then to finish off, I'll take a couple of baby wipes and tap all over just to make sure that everything's nice and even. I have a nice textured background. Now with my canvas dry, I'm gonna go in with my medium round brush and add a coat of wild iris, iris to my entire flower. Again, not worried too much about my edges, just getting a nice coat on there. I'm going to put lots more on top of this, so this is just going to be in the background. I've got two small cups and I'm putting a quarter size amount of paint in each one. One I'm doing barn red, the other one I'm doing purple pansy. And then I'm putting in a bunch of water, not a bunch, but a little bit of water in each one. And then I'm going to put some drops of 90% out rubbing alcohol, drip it into the paint as you can see here. I just love this technique. It, technique. It's so much fun. And then I'm going to start out on the next petal with my purple pansy on top and then I'll put my red in the bottom. Then I'll do the fun with the alcohol. I'll clean up a little bit with a baby wipe here and there, not going too crazy with it. And then we'll let this layer dry. 
canvas is dry and I love the way everything's looking, but I still have a few messy parts that I want to do a little more cleanup on. Uh, I love working on a Mod Podge surface because it's easy to go in and continue to do a little cleanup if you need to, even though the paint's dry. In a third cup, I'm mixing a little bit of white and dark gray to make a very, very light gray. And then adding water, and now I'm going, putting it, as you can see, I'm putting it all over my canvas and then dripping that alcohol in. Oh, I just think this is so cool looking and it's so much fun. Now I'm using my trusty popsicle stick to mix up a couple of grays on my palette. Using my center mask as a guide to tap on that center. I originally sold these as kits on Etsy, so that's why you see me talking to the camera a lot with my hands. My preferred dauber is a makeup sponge in a clothespin with about a half inch sticking out the bottom for perfect pounceability and I'm going in doing a quarter of my tendrils at a time with my dark gray then using my long liner brush to add another line or two a, a, a tendril if you will here and there where I feel like I need one Now I'm gonna line up my stencil again a little bit off from what I just did, and then I'm gonna go in and pounce on some purple pansy in each quarter. And then a third set of tendrils with my wild iris. Again, lining up my stencil, but moving it a little bit so it's not on top of my first or second layer. Switching out my makeup sponge for a large pom-pom now. Love to use these to give, well, you'll see the effect I get. <laughs> and I'm going to get a little bit of my gray and just go in and tap here and there so my tendrils that come into the center don't look too harsh. Soften them up just a bit. Now I'll flip my pom-pom over so that I have a fresh side. Then I'll tap on a little bit of my golden sunset right in the center and a little bit more of my light gray to bring it all together. Hey, if this is your kind of video, it would be awesome if you would like and subscribe. I hope you'll join me next time.